Hi, my name is Michael Tunnell with Tux Digital, and this is a demonstration and installation tutorial for my Ego Zip Downloads user script. For those who don't know, Ego is my acronym for extensions.gnome.org. If you've ever used GNOME Shell before, you may have run into a rather big issue, and that the Ego website doesn't let you install, manage, or configure GNOME extensions without using Epiphany, aka GNOME Web, like this, or using Firefox. Firefox has support through an integration plugin, but Firefox users need to first give permission to that integration plugin before it can run. Clicking Allow, uh, you'll be prompted by this automatically. You just click Allow, and then Allow and Remember, and then when you refresh, there's the toggle button. If your browser of choice, for example, is Google Chrome, then unfortunately, you're effectively left out. Because there's no way to integrate any plugin to provide the installation toggles or configuration toggles or anything like that. Essentially forcing you to install Firefox to manage your, your GNOME extensions. My user script aims to solve that browser dependency and provide a way to use whatever browser you want with the Ego website. Here's a quick preview of what my user script does to improve the Ego website for all users regardless of your browser. This is what it looks like in Chrome before you apply the user script. And this is what it looks like after you've applied the user script. As you can see, the user script provides downloads for the extension organized by GNOME version, as well as a link to the GitHub README for the user script and where you can ask questions if you have any. The issue with the browser dependency is because the Ego website uses something called NPAPI, or the Netscape Plugin Application Programming Interface. NPAPI was first developed for Netscape in 1995 and has provided a lot of great functionality over the years. But it's been over 20 years, so not really surprising that browsers are starting to phase it out. In 2013, Google announced that they were going to stop support for NPAPI, which came to fruition in May of 2014. Uh, Firefox recently announced a few months ago that they're going to stop support for NPAPI as of the end of 2016. Since Chromium and all the derivatives like Google Chrome, Opera, and Vivaldi do not support MPAPI, I've heard a lot of complaints from users that the Ego website is unreasonably frustrating. These people have to install Firefox or Epiphany just to use the website. And even then, the website is not that great of a user experience. While I personally prefer Firefox over any Chromium-based browser, I agree that it is unreasonable to require any particular browser to use any website for any reason. My day job is a web designer and developer, so any kind of arbitrary limit of what browser can be used for any website is something I loathe. It's the kind of thing that reminds me of the horrors of being forced to develop a completely different website for the garbage known as Internet Explorer 6. But anyway, I digress, so let's get back on topic. I want to make something clear though. This is not necessarily the fault of the GNOME project because GNOME decided to use MPAPI years before it started to become phased out. So blaming them for that problem is not necessarily reasonable. However, it is a misstep from the GNOME project for not yet addressing the issue since it arose in May of 2014. I created the Ego Zip Downloads user script in order to solve this usability problem with the Ego website. So with that said, let's move on to the installation. You'll first need to install an extension or add-on for your browser that allows you to run user scripts. A uh, user script is a bit of JavaScript that allows you to permanently manipulate a website locally without actually affecting the site directly. Users of Chromium-based browsers can go to the Chrome Web Store 
and search for an extension called Tamper Monkey. And we're going to install this one. And yep. Alright, so this is just a, a quick warning, so you should read this on your own time. <laughs> but essentially it just means uh, watch out for what you're running because user scripts from someone you don't trust could affect your computer in not so good ways. I chose to make this solution a user script because that way I can make it as portable as possible. So for example, Firefox can users can use this as well and you just go to the get add-on section and search for grease monkey and then install that and of course restart your browser I've tested this user script in many browsers and so far I've verified that it works as intended in Chromium, Google Chrome, Opera, Vivaldi Firefox and Midori. I also tested it in Quebzilla, which should work because it has a Grease Monkey plugin, but did not work as expected during my testing. Maybe others will have better experience than I did. So now that we have a user script runtime extension installed, we can complete the installation of the user script itself. I decided to put the user script on both of the main user script directories Greasy Fork and open user JS to help um, for people searching for a solution so that they can find it more easily. It doesn't matter which one you pick though to use for installation because the script is the same exactly on both directories as they are both in sync with the this github repo. Installing the actual user script is really easy. You just go to Greasy Fork for example click the install script it gives you a warning and tells you what it's going to affect as well as the name the author and description of the script and shows you the code then you just click install that's it but um it doesn't look like it's actually been doing anything yet so what we need to do is just go to the ego page and once we're here, um, just click refresh. And this will automatically associate to all their pages as well. So um, you don't have to refresh it every time, just this one time to show it. Now, of course, it doesn't matter what actual extension you're on. That's going to show the options on all of them. And that's really all there is to it. Um, if you're curious what to do once you have the zip files, I created another tutorial where you can just, uh, it's how to install GNOME extensions from zip files. And uh, you can also extract them and look at how they're made and things like that if you want. So having the zip file is pretty useful in my opinion. If you found this video or user script helpful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'll put links to the GitHub repo for this user script and the link to the other video for installing extensions from zip files in the video description. Thanks for watching and let's keep spreading Linux.